All right, Animal Crossing fans, welcome back to another day. Today, I'm going to be showing you my villagers' photos. Now, collecting villagers' photos has been one of my favorite tasks from New Horizons. I never really collected photos in the past Animal Crossing games, but as soon as I realized how rare and kind of difficult they were to collect, I immediately latched on to the mechanic in this game. So I thought it would be fun to review the ones I've gotten so far. So first up, the very first photo I received was from my girl Pango. And if you've seen previous videos, you might remember that Pango no longer lives with us on Chromatica, unfortunately. We had to let her go to chase her super stardom dreams, but Pango didn't exactly fit in right away. I can't say that she was particularly my type of friend right from the beginning, but since she was one of my earliest villagers, she was receiving gifts from me before I even knew all of the mechanics that went into gift giving. And she pretty much earned a lot of respect from me because she took all of the different gifts I would give her before I even knew what she liked or what she might enjoy color-wise, style-wise, etc. Um, but she was always a good sport, always tried on everything. And I remember specifically that she gave me the photo out of the blue after I gave her a tiger tee, a tiger face tee. Um, I learned later that she does like gaudy clothing and I had just given her the tiger tee because I had just watched Tiger King and I thought she would like it because she did want to become famous and I feel like pop stars wear, wear stuff like that. So it was completely lucky but once she gave me her photo and even a little bit before that she really just was so cute. I realized that her big dreams and her long snout were just so adorable. When she did want to leave, I was kind of really sad. Um, I want to see her information. November 9th, Scorpio. And a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Hmm. That's really lovely. I like that because... She did focus on looks a lot, but the fact that she's willing to cherish them so, and for so long, is quite nice. Uh, I miss you, Pango. My next photo is from another friend of mine. His name is Spike. He also took some time to grow on me. At first, when I met him on a Nook island tour. I really liked him because I had never seen a rhino before. And he was kind of cute with his gruffness and his facial scars. Um, I never did find out where he got those scars. He's not one to open up. But he does still live on Chromatica, so I could find out. Um, he is cranky a lot of the time, and he makes some, I would say, off-kilter jokes. But I think that I, he kind of lost his appeal for me over time rather than gained it because he's really nothing special. I'm sure people like him, but I won't be too sad to see him go. Oh, he's a Gemini, so he's currently in season and his birthday is coming up. That's nice. And his favorite saying is, keep your eye on the ball. Okay. Boring. My next photo came from Cleo. And Cleo is a beautiful purple horse. I was immediately drawn to her because she was so tall and lanky. And she just has very lovely colors about her. However, when she moved in, her house was decorated like an office. And that took me kind of by surprise because I thought she was going to be more of a ritzy glitzy type. And instead she was stuck in an office at her home, which I'm not really that big a fan of. 
So I did try to give her clothes that she might like. I tried to dress her up in classy um, business attire, and I eventually got her photo by giving her enough. Um, I think blue and white are her favorite colors. So eventually, I started giving her blue and white clothing, and then I remember one night she ran up to me and was just so enamored by me. It was kind of a turn off because. I didn't consider us quite as close as she had, and so when she revealed to me that she, I was her best friend and that she was like so excited to see me, it almost scared me off because she almost seemed romantically interested, and I she's just a not my type and not even my really gender, um, and certainly she's a horse. So her favorite. Saying is, oh, that's really beautiful. There's something lovable in all of us. Okay, Cleo, that is really quite nice. I love that attitude. It makes sense for her character. She is always looking on the bright side, and that's really sweet. Okay, she just earned some points in my book. My next photo comes from Alice. And Alice is my absolute favorite villager of all time. You might notice the golden frame around her portrait. She deserves it. She is everything. She is perfect. She is beautiful. She is sweet. She is kind. She is lovely. She is loving. She is lovable. Alice is absolutely a treasure. And、uh, she was my first villager that I chose by hand. Um, I started with two, of course, and then I went on my first Nook Miles tour to recruit a new villager, and she, there she was, waiting for me. She was absolutely everything, and as soon as she said her catchphrase "Governor," I knew that I wanted her. Luckily, she agreed to move to Chromatica, where she spent her days reading,、um, just being really cute. She would craft in her home. She would bake. Baked goods for everyone on the island. She was just very lovable. She wore glasses sometimes. Sometimes she wore contacts.、Um, and unfortunately, we did have to say goodbye to her. She had asked me, as the resident representative, she had asked if she could spread her wings and see new shores. And I don't want to hold someone I love back, so I had to let her go. Luckily, before she left, I showed her the memorial that we set up in her honor, and I told her that I would hope to see her soon. And I'm pretty sure she will return to us any day now. I mean, anywhere else that she goes, I'm sure she'll fit in because who wouldn't love her and who wouldn't accept her? But I think she knows where her true home is. I hope she does. If she watches this one day. She can rest assured that we're waiting. She is born August nineteenth. She's a Leo. That's another cute attribute about her. That's my cousin's birthday as well. And her favorite saying is "Treat others as you would like to be treated." Now, some might say I might even say that's a little trite,、um, maybe overplayed and boring. But those all those adjectives could all be used to describe Alice, and I would say. No big deal. I mean, she's perfect. So trite and boring and cliche are all of those things for a reason. My next villager is Muffy, whom I also grew to love. While I didn't love her at first, because she was one of my first villagers and she just had a kind of punk look that I didn't really appreciate. She turned out to be one of my femme fatale trio, which includes Pango and Alice as well, because I grew to love her. And the reasons are: before I knew anything about friendship, I thought. To myself, well, if I can give my villagers items every single day, and they'll decorate their home with most of them, why not make storylines around them? And so, Muffy was my first project in storytelling, where she actually turned into a witch. She decided to start practicing the dark arts. She dressed the part, and she decorated her home in 
um, skull radios and black bird cages. Everything was black for a while. She was definitely into fortune telling. She had a skull door plate. Um, I actually saw her spreading her magic verbiage like abracadu and um, bibbidi bobbidi do. And I started seeing other villagers in town repeating her and I actually caught her a few times here and there casting spells on me um but I thought that was all part of her charm I mean she she was really into her craft she was really great at it and she even established the dark forest which if you've seen the tour you'll remember is Muffy's world it's perfect for her she's perfect I loved her and I did have to unfortunately send her away as soon as Poppy came knocking um, she needed a house and Muffy was the one that she asked to leave so let's see Muffy's favorite saying Aquarius there's a black sheep in every family that's really cute that is appropriate to Muffy and appropriate to all of us. I hope she doesn't take that too harshly upon herself. Maybe that's why she was traveling the world looking for friends. Maybe that's why she had to leave her family. But I hope she knows that she certainly wasn't the black sheep in Chromatica's family. That would be Spike. I'll stand next to Alice as I say goodbye and I hope to see you soon.